I find that a lot of people are quick to judge and this is a symptom of having too much ego. What we were trying to do over here as people that try to actualize or realize is at some stage we want to learn to start transcending the ego, to start watching the ego as the awareness itself, as the observer. You don't want to connect yourself too much to the ego because it limits your potential. That's why a lot of the problems in the world happen, a lot of people have fights because of ego, too much ego. Now, I'll give you a little example. Uh, there's a book I read, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stefan Covey, I believe. Or was it Stephen? Who knows? Anyway, um, he was talking about how he went into a train and there was a bunch of people in the train. A father and three of his kids walked into the train. The kids were running around, you know, jumping, causing major distraction. The father wasn't really doing anything about it. He was just, you know, quiet, sitting down with his head down. So he's watching the events, and this guy's kids are running around. They're just annoying the crap out of everybody. It got to the point where he thought, what's wrong with this guy? How can you let your kids run around like this? And how can you have such a little respect for other people in the train? So he decided to go out and, you know, sort this guy out, give him a little word. So he asked the man, he said, hey, dude. I see you got your kids here, you let them run around, what's up with that? Why don't you have a bit more, you know, respect and keep them in line? Try, try, you know, not let them do this type of stuff. The man looks up at him for the first time and goes, I'm sorry, my, my kid's parents just passed away three hours ago. We just left the hospital. They must still be shocked about it. I'm still shocked about it, but I guess you're right. So... His paradigm shift, his paradigm shifted instantly when he heard this news because he got a different viewpoint, right? This viewpoint made him reinterpret everything that just occurred. So this person he was looking at no longer seemed like such a, you know, asshole or um, someone who lacked responsibility. He started understanding where this person was coming from. Now, everyone has a different viewpoint in life and people are too drastic or too quick to make judgments without stopping and thinking about where exactly the other person is coming from. You have to understand that you're walking through life, it's not just about you, it's not just the things you see from face value. Everyone has a story, there's a reason why they're behaving the way they're behaving. No one's just inherently an asshole. It's something that made them that way or something that makes them choose the actions they are taking at a particular time that you might not understand. So if you come at things with less ego, it helps you start to see these type of things, these nuances. You don't get so angry so quickly. You start being more, you know, ex uh, accepting in other people. So if someone's behaving neg negatively towards you, you don't take it as a personal slight you might think that perhaps this person has their own problems and they don't know how to deal with this so they're trying to take it out on me. And if you come at life with this type of mentality where you're trying to transcend the ego, transcend your view of yourself and try to see things for what they are, you'll be a lot more fulfilled and a lot happier. And yeah, I hope you receive some value out of this. We'll try to do some more of these type of videos and peace.